for the Paul Report with Brett Levengood and Blake Jarvis. So we walk into the LGI, and bam, t-shirt, certificate, pin, bona fide student of the month. That's how we do I'm it. I'm telling you, First on our way up. First award of journalism of the year. Watch out, Colbert. Good morning, Owen J. I'm award-winning anchor Brett Levengood. And I'm award-winning co-anchor Blake Jarvis. And here are your top stories for today, October 7th. A soccer game in honor of Kelsey Kramer was played Monday night against Methacton. No admission was charged at the gate in hopes that people would be able to donate to the Kelsey Kramer Scholarship Fund. In a ceremony before the game, Kelsey's jersey was retired and presented to her family. Soon after the presentation, hundreds of purple balloons were released in her memory. The Wildcats then went on to defeat the Warriors 2-1 in an exciting and hard-fought hard overtime game. Congratulations to the girls' soccer team for improving their Pac-10 record to 6-1. If you are interested in donating to the scholarship fund, contact the ONJ Roberts Education Foundation. Keeping in the theme of sports, the girls' cross-country team has been snapping necks and cashing checks this season. This past Wednesday, the acclaimed team, led by Alex Wood, swept both Upper Perk 33-24 and PJP 44-17. What makes the OGR girls so good this year, you ask? They run well. They run well. You know my favorite part of cross country is, Blake? The running? The whole running part. Mine too. It's like endless. I like running. Know? Never get enough. October, the month of chilly weather, drunk Germans, and cancer awareness. The Anchor Club will be supporting kids in their fight against cancer by sewing pillowcases for them. The pillowcases will be sent to many different kids at different hospitals. Encourage anyone to participate in a donation. You can donate both money as well as materials. Materials can be sent to room 1105, and money will be collected in advisories by Anchor Club members. There's even a little surprise for the advisor that donates the most, and I can't think of any joke to make that isn't in bad taste. OGR is combining the red and the white to go pink Friday, October 14th. Stylist from Lord and Ladies Salon will be in the cafeteria to put pink hair extensions in your hair in honor of Breast Cancer Awareness Month. This is a fundraiser for the Susan G. Komen Foundation. The cost is $10 a donation for each extension. Let's go pink, OJR. But you know, Blake, I'm lacking some pep lately. How can you help me fill that void? I'll feed you, baby bird. In case you're not in the know like us, next week is Spirit Week. Show your wildcat love of the school by dressing up each day for the appropriate thrifty theme. Tuesday is Purple Day, Wednesday will be Tie-Dye Day, Thursday you can expect to dress up as your favorite superhero, you know, the usual. On Friday, be sure to show your school spirit by wearing your class colors for the pep rally during 6th and 7th periods, as well as the homecoming game later that afternoon at 7 p.m. Still can't get enough? Attend the homecoming dance next Saturday from 7 to 10. Brett, what dances are you anticipating? You know, I thought homecoming? about it. I thought about long and hard, and I'm a big fan of the new hard styling craze, mm. and so is our boy, Mark Mishania, with a special report. Mark? This is Mark Bashani reporting for the Paw Report, and this is Hard Style. I am here with the ONJ Roberts Hard Style crew. These are the founders. Jay Sting. M Antidote. And here is Lil B. Brother Man Full of Soul 3000. Trick Daddy. I'm Ben Stein. There you go. And we're going to ask the founders some questions. All right, what are some of your inspirations when you dance? Uh, Melbourne Shuffle Compilation 3, man number one. It's all the same guy. It's all the same guy. <laughs> <laughs> all right, there you have it. Owen J. Roberts, Hard Style with Crew, 2K11. This is Mark Bashani reporting for the Paw Report. Oh, casual Friday. Heat it up. Thanks, Mark. That was good. On October 8th of 1871, the Great Chicago Fire that would ravage the city for two days began. Somewhere between two and 300 people were killed. About 17,450 buildings were destroyed and over $200 million worth of damage was done. Chicago was already vulnerable to fires, as the climate was dry, and most of the city was... SQUIRREL! ...made of wood. Though no one knows for sure how the fire started, the most, the most widely accepted speculation as to how the fire started is that a cow kicked over a lantern in the barn of Patrick and Catherine O'Leary. I've never trusted cows. The fire was devastating, but the immediate relief given to the city after the fire allowed it to grow into one of America's top economic cities. 
So yeah, there's this awesome band, Flash Forward, playing Phoenixville. I've heard of that. Bands. I've heard of that. October 12th, between 6.30 and 9.30 p.m. $3 for students, 5 for adults, exactly. right? Exactly. Yeah, and I think we, we can go, right? Yeah, we can go. And, and if, if we, we go, go, other people will, it will follow. Glow. Exactly. Peer pressure. I love it. I'm loving it, dude. Well, that's the news. I'm Blake Jarvis, and this is Brett Levingood, and here's a list of celebrity women that I find attractive. Scarlett Johansson, Christina Hendricks, Alison Brie, Anna Kendrick. That is all.